The squad making sure we all win. Smoke a lot, radio, we going all in. Silla, I'm the host with the most smoke. Rolling up the most dope. Kato got the most dope. Simone Taylor, keep it sexy for the grown folks. I'm OG, tone low, bouncing on them ghost folks. Smoke, we the number one podcast. Some other shows, all trash. Amber Rose, all ass. Broadcasting live from the coast. Sick of Mitty with the jokes. Come and get your ass broke. When you got to the point and you made and you finished recording that who that? Yeah. Did you instantly know like this is that motherfucker? Like it's the that point. motherfucker is transcendent out of everything out of the whole no limit catalog. Yes, sir. I don't really know what stand out more than that song. And that uh, the other one that, that everybody do too. Yo, it's another one that everybody done remade. No, 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 some, uh, some, no, no, uh, no, no, I'm no, talking no. about the beats they done remade, nigga. Oh, yeah, nigga, man, remade. but that, that, because on the West Coast, California, when that joint dropped, and you yeah. know, when y'all, you know what I'm saying, when y'all was blazing up and killing the game, you know, my side of town didn't have you know, <laughs> representative because he was over there working with y'all, Snoop Dogg. You okay, know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was over there with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm LA. So okay. that was one that we leaned on on Crenshaw and on certain streets, like, what probably gotcha. did it. No, he is. Oh, I'm original. Old. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? He probably reminded me of that I'm from the dopest age of hip hop. Right. And he remade it. Right. Because mm-hmm. I don't, it's just that feeling. I don't Look. know. And the flow and the cadence, like you were saying earlier, any South Central motherfucker you meet, Los Santos gonna know. We oh, linked on that joint. We linked on that too. Look, I'm gonna tell you why you too. I'm gonna tell you why you love it. And uh, no disrespect, Uh-oh. I know, you know, um, um, yep, from up North Cali, Oakland, you know what I mean? I love Oakland like I love LA. Y'all ain't showed me nothing but love since the 90s, since I started coming out that physical, man. So I done rolled from San Bernardino up through Bluff Creek and yeah, all that kind of shit. Yeah, we damn near by San Bernardino right now, man. You just <laughs> called us out. Damn near, yeah. <laughs> right yeah, I love California, man. So check it out. Yeah. Let me take y'all there, man. And yep, you might might not know this. I'm going to tell you the whole inspiration to that and why y'all love it so much, y'all. This parliament, you know what I mean? Snoop Nam was fucking with the parliament, so I took the parliament. That was in my soul, in my head, that kept, you know, shit. It wouldn't leave me alone. So it's one of them funky things off the Motor Buddha Fire record. It's the bass line. Um, the drums is from my Uzi Where the Tongue, Public Enemy. Then I flip some other wow. drums, front tracks, switch. Okay, so that's East and West Coast. So like I say, the way I got the game, I gave the game back. Gumbo. Yeah, let me fuck you up. More importantly, LA is King T. I was gonna sound for the King T, the actor fool. That's one McBride, of my McBride, King T. Uh, Shouts out to King T McBride, baby. Hey, man, so, Tila, man. That's my nigga Tila, man. Yeah, you man. Yeah, the off, off the top. So when I'm saying I'm, been, I'm finna act the fool, it's coming to it come out the King Fool. Yeah. King T. Yeah, L.A., man, all day. So we call Louisiana baby L.A., man. So you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Same, man, you know, L.A., Louisiana, nigga. I had so, just came from my first Mardi Gras uh, yes, right before the bullshit happened. Yeah. The latest one. I, that's and when, I, about and when I'm about introducing it. my picture to people, I'm not saying I'm from L.A. I'm saying I'm from the other L.A. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we all cousins, grandparents, That's folks, so family. Down, you yes, know what sir. I'm saying? So, I, yeah. then you don't get no feeling like the real knowledge. They told me yeah, that. Hey. Like that. Hey, you got to say it like that. A-W. Yeah. You got yeah, yeah, no, to say knowledge and go into the no. store. No. That's it. Ain't no yes. store, nigga. Knowledge. And everything a cold drink. Love the cold drink. <laughs> That's the cold drink. Man, I, man, I went and got my sandwiches for the liquor store the gas stations, all that, the whole experience. Man. Damn Zulu, all that, man. But okay, you right, yeah. man. You put a, just like how everybody love gumbo, you mix that music just like that for the audio here. Cause it, it, right. You landed. Look, this in mind, too. While I was learning how to do the rap thing, started recording, I had DJ partners. So I've been doing the DJ thing since a kid. I just ain't take that as the overall. So mixing them, the, the music, you know, I stand in the back room. I live like B Street, yuck, but in the South. I had two turntables and a suitcase. Like when you look at the Dr. Dre surgery case with the cartoon cover. I had two shit like that in the suitcase with a mixer built in. My uncle used to ride um, the garbage truck. 
And he found that shit one day in the trash and re-put it together for him and moved to Atlanta. When he come back, I had went gold. I hadn't saw him since the 80s. But since then, I've been fucking with the turntables and that kind of shit. So on top of that, it's Earth, Wind, and Fire and the Reaper Frank. Yeah, with wow. the rock. So all that mixed together, the word just that fell, yeah, it came down like it did. And I've been, like I say, fucking with music in so many ways, live to technical shit. You know, it's just, you this know. This the days of the ADAT. This is the ADAT days. On the cool one. And really, to be honest, me and Happy Perez produced that record before on Beats by the Pound and No Limit enhanced it. So I really produced it. And that's oh, wow. it. I co-produced it. Yeah. Well, that's the whole thing. So I could write. It's like playing, rapping to your own rhythm. You know what it is. You know what I mean? So Right, right. That, that's the whole essence to that. Mixing the East, the West. And putting it in a soft gumbo pot, man. That's why y'all love it. I appreciate Yo, it. Audio gumbo, ah, baby. See, see, that was hands on. You know what I mean? That was and then that's the days of the A day. So it probably took yeah. so long to get that track right. Man, you know it. All the shit, and you know what I'm saying, what you got to do for that. Yeah, today we're doing this. Today we're doing, we doing this. Today we're doing this. Today we're doing this. That's to make you know that whole shit about the eight, 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 and eight, 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 Ain't no punching in, lazy motherfucker. Not at all. Ain't no punching in. Know your rap. Yes, sir. Real oh, shit. My Absolutely. Yeah, man. Hey, man. So, what this mm-hmm. shit called, man? Um, this shit called, man. The, the, the fucking movie. <coughs> okay, so, motherfucking, how you do that? Come out on goddamn Master P movie. I'm about yeah, it. Man. Yeah, man. <coughs> now, oh, nigga. Master P is like one of the biggest things out of New Orleans at the time, nigga. Out of, out of the whole P, out of Louisiana at the time, besides the cash money. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yo, motherfucking album with CeeLo goes on this motherfucking soundtrack, man. What was the vibe? What was the, you know what I mean? How was you feeling about it? You know what I mean? Did you get paid a super with your first big ass check? You know what I mean? Like, because this before you even did a deal with the nigga. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh, tell, well, tell, yeah, yeah. Oh. This, this what even put him in, in the building with Master P. So, tell me how was that experience, man, and, and the excitement, you know what I mean, around you, the crew, the, the city, you know what I mean, and the label, and so on, you feel me? Man, like winning the World Series, you know what I'm saying? What they say, a prophet is no good in his own hometown. You know, when I started coming out there and people start, you know, and, and I take that back in one sense, because my, my hood, city, family, everybody always supported me. That record, the original record you're talking about was number one on the radio station before it took off. So I was getting that kind of, you know what I mean? Uh, Upstart, you know what I mean? The shows was paying off and all that type of thing. And in the midst of that, we're really, yeah, off of that record. When we first did that record, we used to, it's one one main club in Baton Rouge called Vibes, man. And we, uh, the line would be eight less thick. They didn't let her, I didn't perform, um, you know, Rid of the original fool off the actor fool, um, to maybe one or two years later, they wouldn't let us in the club because people was tearing the clubs down. So it was ridiculous. It was on its way, and just the right place and the right time. That movie coming out, coming out, and when it popped on that man, yeah, it just it was skyrocket, man. So like I say, you know, I started taking them trips out there, coming to um, priority records at the time, and we worked out a deal. And the rest, thing, the rest was history, man. You I mean the yacht, the boat, the, you know what I mean? The song, so <laughs> far, the reflection off of that, I felt like I could put it this way. Mike Tyson being a, the youngest heavyweight champion ever. I'm 22, 23 years yeah. old. Yeah, man. And it's all, you know, everything. Ooh. Everything. So, so, asked, uh, you know, yeah. So by you um getting to the label, signing, but already had established hit, yeah. You know what I'm saying? What was the competitive nature over there at No Limit by so many artists and so many different rappers yeah, being he over there, coming out? He, he over but he was already was, cracking, but he and, over there with Snoop is yeah, there. But there. he was there a little yeah. before Snoop, right? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, because like okay. yeah, yeah, okay. 97, you were 97, no, nah, Snoop yeah. nah, he, right nah, he, there. Nah, his joint yeah, nah, dropped, what, 96, 97? The end of 99. Snoop got there in 99. Hey, yeah, 99. 99, 99 up, in that, up in that cuss. 98, yeah. probably. Yeah. 98. But probably dropped in 99, though, because of the... I dropped you know, 99. Yeah, yeah, That's probably. So, so, so remember, they had to, you know, me an X got shot like this. You know, the mystical was already cracking before he got there when yeah, he had, uh, y'all ain't dumbass, ready yet. Man. You know what I'm saying? Before. Dumbass, so I'm saying, and all this is Louisiana, so it's a, it's a lost part 
and chunk of Louisiana motherfuckers don't know about the upstart of certain shit. Yes. That upstarted these big companies. Yes, indeed. But y'all artists was all, because I, I heard a mystical way back when it was y'all ain't ready yet or something. I think that was a joint. Hey, I heard a mystical hey. before that. Like, yeah, before, like before he got over there. And then when he got like over there, 94. it was. Yeah, about 94. 94 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was killing. So you know I'm saying the competitive right. nature yes, is everybody from Louisiana. All y'all, I don't know, from different parts, different wars, stuff like that. But yeah. he's from fucking Baton Rouge. Yeah, you know what I mean, and New Orleans and Baton Rouge is two different spots. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, so he have a competitive nature, like with Lil Boosie and them, but they came way after him. No, I'm you talking know what about mean? on no limit. Like he get there, we no just limit. got bleed, right, right, right. we just got Miska, we just got Snoop, but then they right. had that core that was doing their thing right, too. Right, right, right. What was the nature like in those studio sessions? Because all y'all's on each other's albums. Right, so it was right. Always gas. The twins, right. I forgot, Cain and Abel. You know what I'm saying? Came the Skull the Duggery, Abel, the Max, twins. you know what I'm saying? We can't forget, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I think I had the, the first rapping twins. I mean, I don't know about the first, but he had like the- Yeah, he had some rapping twins, you sure right. <laughs> he had some rapping fucking twins named Kane and Abel. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he had, had a legendary ass label, man. But uh, what was the competition around that thing? Did you have your chin up? Was your chin down, nigga, when Mystical came in that bitch? <laughs> like, yeah, your so. chin down when Snoop came in that bitch? You're like, nah, nigga, I'll gas all these niggas. Yeah. Man, How man. was your chin, nigga, when the studio sessions was going on? Nigga? They had a Dangerous Records vibe when you was over there with the man, Yeah, well, was some, niggas trying to get some of that. Did Master P6 some niggas on, on you to <laughs> battle you? Because when I got the Dangerous Music, yeah, I had to battle man. everybody in the studio, everybody. nigga. Yes, Look, man, so. I done had a beautiful, blessed journey, and I done heard st stories and been around a whole lot of shit, and definitely in the studio. But let me paint the slide for you. The best way I can get y'all an audio visual without the audio, but um, like Mac Chen and Bout, I show up like that. So I wasn't around no lemon all the time. We had our own thing, like you say, Baton Rouge and New Orleans, 45 minutes apart. The concentration camp, we was already making our own records. And yeah, right. nobody, when I say that, but just painting the slide for you. Um, so what I can just, I can tell you this. I remember walking in, you know, No Limit um, headquarters had became, you know, they had moved to Baton Rouge. So that was oh, in the okay. So I'd go around, you know, a couple of times when I needed to do what I had to do. You know, I'd see everybody else when I saw them. But um, I remember walking in one time and it looked like a Muslim classroom in there, man. You know, you see the boys reading the Quran and they doing this and that. At, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like that. And then in one sense, it was a rush to get on them records. He standing at the door. He'll be he looking at you out the side of his ass. Cause he's finna catch a red eye in the middle of the night and be back in California tomorrow while the rest of us and whatever going on. So imagine that kind of pressure that but me saying the separatism, I wasn't directly on it. I was under the gun when I was there working. He was on my ass too one night, I never forget. To finish yeah. the record so he can turn the record in. So you know what it is, yup. You know what I mean? Maybe you too, Kato, when they say, hey man, you know this 10% business. I mean, 10% um talent and 90 percent business. Oh my mom. Yeah, catching up with the plane and being like you say, being on time and different things like that. Once it starts, it's a fast moving ass treadmill. And if you can't stay on it, you're gonna fall out. Yeah, y'all talking them dogs I to take a pit and put in the box. Yeah, you're going to run him, you're going to run with it, and you're going to run him to death. One of the two going to happen. So, you know, it take real thorough players, you know what I'm saying? Right, the maneuver. Yeah, it look easy, but hey, man, I get my exercise in airports, train station, bus station, carrying luggage, and <laughs> hopping out of cars, and yeah. On my mama. On my mama.